keeping neocaridina and caridina shrimp together. Can we keep neocaridina and caridina shrimp together and have the colony thrive and survive? Welcome everyone, it's Ray from RW Aquarium Pages, capturing my journey in planted aquariums, shrimp tanks, and everything in between. If it's your first time visiting the channel, welcome. If you're a regular visitor, welcome back, and I appreciate everyone for watching my videos and joining me in my journey. Some of us are limited in space for additional tanks. Limited in resources as setting up another aquarium does cost some money. Is it possible to keep Neocaridina and Caridina shrimp together? Well, it depends. Not the most ideal scenario for the pure shrimp keeper, but with these tips, you'll be able to keep them together. Caridina and Neocaridina shrimp do have a wide range that they prefer, and it does overlap a little bit. The more picky shrimp with a narrow band of water parameters is the Caridina shrimp. But a type like the Tangerine Tiger and Yellow King Kong are highly adaptable and does well in the right range. To start off, I would pick an easy Caridina shrimp, the Tangerine Tiger or the Yellow King Kong. Even with that said, this would work for more finicky Caridina like the Taiwan Bees. Neo Caridina, as long as you've got a high quality ones, they'll do well in slightly acidic water. If you look up the general Neocaridina parameters, they generally like to be in neutral water, but they can do well from a pH of 6.6 to 7.5. My current mix setup is using Aqua Reel's Neo Soil, which lowers the pH slightly. The hardness I set it to 170 parts per million TDS of GH. Tangerine Tigers were in the aquarium first, as they're the more finicking species than the Neocaridina. After the tangerine tigers have been there for a little bit, I introduce 100 high quality blue jelly shrimp. Quality is key, and this batch of blue jellies from my friend are excellent homebred ones. As you can see here, they're happy together. Both shrimp are breeding and babies are everywhere. They're feasting on food together. If you were to go the other way around and use an inner substrate, and a TDS of say 200-250 GH and KH, that's perfect for Neocaridina shrimp. But the Tangerine Tigers and Yellow King Kong will also do well in these water parameters. The main concern is that one of these two species will overpopulate the other and steal all the food. In this case, you can put a few small pieces of food when you're feeding so the food is spread out and also to use powder food as it spreads everywhere but you'll need to be careful not to overfeed the powder food as too much uneaten powder food can follow the water. But this won't really happen until say you have 100 of each where the Neocaridina and the Caridina are in a 10 gallon aquarium. The tank has been stable for a while and it's doing well. The key is to try to find the water parameter that overlaps between Neocaridina and Caridina shrimp. Have you tried to mix Neocaridina and Caridina shrimp together? I recently asked in a Reddit shrimp group, and it seems like many people are doing this. The shrimp that they've used include Galaxy Fish Bone to the Simple Tangerine Tigers mixed with Neocaridina with success. I'll provide a 6 month and a 1 year update to see how this aquarium and the colony is doing. I love sharing my experiences, success and failures with everyone and capturing my journey in planted shrimp tanks. Stay tuned for more informative videos. Thanks for watching and listening to my rambles. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.